It's PRI 2010 and Edelbrock are down here making a big splash again with new products for the big block Chevy. I'm talking about the Big Vic 2 and I'm here with the man that helped design the whole thing, Rick Roberts. Fantastic piece of equipment, mate. The Big Victor 2 actually was an evolution from, obviously, the Big Victor. Uh, what, we, what we did on this was take uh, modifications that uh, various of our customers have done to it and simply build them right into the casting. One of those was to raise the carburetor pad up and weld on the roofs of the material or roofs of the runners and then grind them up. Well, we said it would be a lot easier if we just incorporate that right into the design. In addition, looking at some of the things that those folks have done, we redesigned the inside in a way that we think is really going to make it uh, a lot better. That was to extend the dividers into the plenum and lengthen the plenum front to back on the uh, manifold. Uh, what this does is make the longer runners shorter, the shorter runners longer, all of which we think is really going to translate to a lot better horsepower in the end. Excellent. Well, you mentioned some of the customers that have been working with these manifolds, and we've got a man that's very well respected in the industry, Matt Beneman from MBE, to find out his take on this. So Matt, you're very well respected in the industry. You've been a customer of Edebrox for quite some time. How is the Big Victor 2 spread port going to help you? Uh, the Big Victor 2 is going to help us because they've lengthened the dividers inside the, inside the plenum of the manifold. Now we can create, we can move the power bands where we want to be. So instead of before with the old version, we could only move the RPM range, let's say 400 RPM. Now. If, if someone runs 7,000 to 9,000 RPM, we can adjust that so the motor can run in those ranges. What are some of the big changes on the Key Victor 2 that you find are going to be most beneficial? Uh, lengthen of the dividers, the raising of, of the end runners up into the plenum. Uh, those, are the, those are going to be the, the, certainly the, the, the keys to, to this being more successful than the 2801 already has been. Well, the Big Victor 1 was popular enough to start with. Why was that? When you look at the end runners, okay, what happens is the leading competitor, they will, the end runners will lose as much as 10% flow compared to the center runners. What the Edelbrock does, the 2801, we lose as little as 2%. So we're at 8% here. So what happens is now the jetting and the carburetor is correct for all eight cylinders instead of being just correct for the end runners because the end runners on the, on, on the old style manifolds we always have to add a lot more jet to the end to the carburetor to get fuel to the end runners because there's no signal going to the end runners, thus making the center runners rich. So now we make everything more efficient because there's more signal going to the end runners, which creates a more efficient motor, and that's why it makes 40 more horsepower. And can you show us how the big Victor 2 differs from that? Yes, when we, when we go to the big Victor 2, now we're going to a whole nother range. Okay, this is going to allow us, this is going to allow sportsmen racers and all drag racers of all kind in the big block market to go from when we lengthen these, the dividers, this allows porting companies like myself to move the RPM ranges. When we can do this, if I move this back, shorten the runner, the RPM level, we can move it up higher. For the guys that only run around 7,500 RPM, we can leave them longer. And when we do this, everything becomes more efficient, so it's for it's for the customer. You know, we don't have just a manifold that's for 8,500 RPM. We have one, one that will work from 7,000 to 9,000 RPM. Excellent. Well, thanks for taking the time out to talk to us, Matt. Hopefully you have just as much success with the Big Victor 2 as you did with Big Victor 1. Oh, yeah, we will. That would, no, that's no problem at all. All right. If you need some more excitement on your big block Chevy, head to edelbrock.com to find out all about the Big Victor 2 spread port.